So welcome back to Silver Linings. My name is Chrissy, and I'm here to guide you through a 15 minute stretch and breath sequence. Today we're going to be using a sturdy chair. So grab a sturdy chair and as you place it into the center of your space, ideally onto a mat or a towel, then ensure that you can see me clearly when you're standing and seated. That's where we'll be spending most of the session. It's really frustrating when you have to move the device so make sure you've got it in a spot where you can enjoy everything to the max. This is all about you and your body. So do what feels good on your body. And if a stretch doesn't feel right for you, leave it out. So we're gonna go ahead and come into our sort of space, check you've got that sturdy chair, and just come and have a sit down. <laughs> no one said that before this week. So taking a comfortable seated stance, but when I say that, I don't want you to kind of relax onto the back of your chair. Please come and sit with the feet parallel. Find a gentle sensation of support through your core, and then a sense of length through the spine. Once you're there, you can let the hands just rest onto your thighs or plate them one on top of the other as you feel comfortable. You can close the eyes or take a low gaze and we'll start just with a couple of breaths to arrive in our space. So taking a deep inhale through your nose, drawing in that life-giving breath. Once you get to the top of your breath, you'll feel like a full balloon. Just hold it for a little moment and then exhale all the air out. Think of wringing out the lungs. Gorgeous. We're going to take three more deep breaths like that, guys. So inhale smoothly, feeling the ribs widen. The abdomen will fill with air. That's all good. And then exhaling it all away. And I would describe these kinds of breaths almost like a superpower. They are fantastic for your stress-busting toolkit. Taking those moments to breathe deeply, reconnect mind and body, and find a little moment of calm. Let's do one more deep breath. Make this your deepest and longest inhalation. And then a long exhale, breathe it all away. Beautiful. You can blink the eyes open now. Good. I'm going to start with a little seated cat and cow. So reaching the arms forward, just grow tall for a moment and then sweep the hands behind you. Catch the back of your chair and just see if you can open your chest and gaze up high. Imagine you had a little headlight shining from your chest, from your sternum. And then as you exhale, release the back of the chair and scoop the arms around and imagine you're hugging a big ball. Good, let's do that a couple more times. So we're opening the arms, catching the back of the chair for support, opening the chest, wrapping the shoulder blades together. Good, and then exhale, scoop, 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 and curve your spine. Two more times, reaching back, deep breath in. So that same gorgeous long inhalation through the nose if you can. And exhale, curl it forward. Last time. Inhale, reach, reach, reach. Good, and this time interlace the fingers as you come into that curve. So now you're making a tight little circle. And we're just gonna circle round to the right and round to the left. Think of it as a little figure of eight or an infinite, never-ending circle. Should just feel nice on the middle back, creating a little space between those ribs, a little movement. Good. And from here, come up to tall, and just keep that interlace of the hands and circle out your wrists. I'll come up and show you in a little bit more detail, but it should feel really, really good. So if you do a lot of typing, a lot of sitting at your desk, this is a nice little one to have in your toolkit. Good. From here, we're gonna lift up the left foot, Place it up and across the right leg. And again, check your sitting beautifully tall. Catching your left foot with your right hand, just taking a couple of circles of your ankle. And we don't really give enough love to our feet, our ankles, wrists and hands. So this is a moment just to ease out any tension here. If you get some clicking, don't worry, that's perfectly normal. And if you're a runner, a cyclist, anything like this, this little bit of joint care is really, really important. Go ahead and reverse your circle, breathing as you go. And in a moment, we're gonna come into a figure four stretch, which if it's new to you, it's all about opening the left glute. So sitting nice and tall, make sure the foot is firmly on top of the right thigh and you've got a strong flex through that left foot. I'm gonna place the hands on the knee and ankle, 
If your knees are sensitive, you could just hold the back of the chair rather than putting pressure down into the joint. Go ahead and lift as tall as you can, growing long through the spine and start to lengthen forward. So think of this as a diagonal line, and I'll show you in profile, rather than a curve. This is all too easy. The lengthening is the thing that's gonna give you a stretch into your lower back and then radiate round into that glute and feel really good or not. <laughs> Either way, probably just quite necessary. So go ahead and breathe into it. Maybe deepening a little more. Maybe pushing down just a touch on that left knee. See what happens. Explore the stretch. Couple more breaths here. Take a moment to just shrug your shoulders down and away from your ears so there's no tension in the facial muscles, the jaw. And breathing. Good. One more breath right there. And we'll move into a twist. So come on up. Reach the arms up high and you're going to twist towards the bent leg, so towards your left leg. Your right hand will go across your left knee. Your left arm is gonna kind of hook behind your chair, which feels really good because you have a bit of tension there. And then lift tall and twist through your torso. You can take your gaze all the way around and back to the back of your space behind the chair. Don't be afraid to push down into the knee if that feels okay on your knee. And then spiral upwards through the spine. Good. We'll take the counter stretch, which won't feel as much. It, it will just be a nice unraveling of the spine. So left hand comes to right foot, right arm comes behind the chair, and then gently come back to center. Give that left leg a little shake, and we're gonna stand up and come round to the back of our chair. And if you have sensitive knees, make sure you've got a little towel or cushion handy, or you can fold your mat if that's better for you. So we're gonna start with a front of thigh stretch. Bring your feet to touch and bring your right hand to the bar or chair. And then bring your left hand to catch your left foot. Go ahead and see if you can now slide the hand down and catch your ankle. That's gonna be a better point of purchase. Bring the knees to touch, and right away you might be starting to feel your front of thigh stretch. Tuck your pelvis and then lift and open your chest. So what we're aiming for is that front of thigh is getting a stretch, but also the hip flexor. So right over the top of the hip, Maybe it's radiating right up into your obliques. Slight bend in the standing leg, real tuck through the pelvis. Could you squeeze those knees together again? The temptation will be to let that knee escape. Hug them together, tuck under, now lift your gaze. Give me a smile. You can always bend the back elbow to get a little more squeeze through that heel. Breathing, my friends, yes. Breathe for two, good, and one. Good, from here we're coming into a calf stretch. Both hands will come to the back of your chair. Step your right foot forward, bend into that right knee and then send your left foot back, aiming to get the heel just off the floor. So you're gonna to come to a point where you're getting a stretch that's pretty strong and that your heel is literally just hovering. From here, put weight into the right foot and then micro bend the back knee and stretch the leg long. Could you tuck your pelvis and lift your abs a little? That's gonna increase your stretch. Bend the back knee, exhale, push the heel towards your mat. Easy shoulders and face as you go. Last two, bend. Exhale, push to stretch. Just check you're parallel with those feet, by the way. The tendency will be to externally rotate, so just take a glance down. All these little self-checks are gonna really increase your flexibility over time because you're stretching with beautiful alignment. Good, so last time, and then we're going to head all the way down onto the knee. So this is why, where you might want to grab your towel or fold your mat up so that this left knee is nice and supported. Once you're down, you can release the back toes and make sure this front knee is on top of your right ankle. From here, we're just gonna move gently back and forth. So move and press forward and then push back, aiming to nearly or fully extend the front leg. Push forward, so you work with your range, you work with your body, and then you push back. Try to keep the hips square, that means pulling back a little on the right hip. Last time, we're gonna push forward and stay there. Should be getting that lovely front of thigh stretch a little more deeply than you had standing, perhaps. From here, we're gonna sweep the left arm up, Take it in an arc and reach all the way over to the right. So the stretch will emanate from the little finger and come all the way down the side body. Could you breathe deeper into those side ribs and enjoy that side stretch? Watch the shoulder isn't heading up. Just plug it in. 
Beautiful stretch. Nice opening for the side body. And then place both hands down onto your back of chair and we'll press back into a hamstring stretch. So pushing the front leg as long as you can today. And if some of you are able to, you're going to flex the toes back towards you. That's going to get pretty intense. If you feel like you need to shift forward a touch to have a proper purchase on that chair, then go ahead. And some of you may be able to walk the hands down towards the floor. Fingertips just gently spider crawling forward and away from you as you fold the head down and towards your shin bone. Now, if you're still up here, don't worry. That's where you are today. And you're just going to stay with the breath for me. Keep elongating through the back of the leg. You've got about two more breaths right here. Good. Last one. And then bend that front foot again. Hook your back toes to step up and come into what's called a triangle pose. So feet are again parallel, hip sockets width apart, and you're aiming to get a flat back as you fold into your stretch. So again, the tendency will be to have the right hip coming forward, you can pull it back, and then square and flatten out the spine. Good, breathing into the hamstrings. Maybe you're getting lower back as well. From here, we'll just take a little transitional movement here. So feet come parallel, sending your body long and low. And we're going to take an exhale, take an angry cat position. So that means curving the spine. Inhale, take your cow. So you did this seated. It's going to feel a little different here in this forward fold. Curling over, moving through an L shape to your cow, which is a nice extension of the spine. So important. Keep the knees soft, everybody, so that you're not stressing out the lower back. This should feel like a nice release really good for the lower back if you do a lot of sitting or traveling for work. Good. And then gently walk in. So here's the fun bit. We now retrograde the whole thing. I'm going to move my chair so you guys can see, but you won't need to move anything, I hope. Just send the left foot forward now and the right foot back, and we're in our triangle posture. So coming to your second side, triangle posture. Remember now the left hip will want to move back. If you've got a little softness in the knees, don't worry. I'm really excited to find if we can lengthen out the back and keep the abs lightly lifted, shoulders down on the back. A couple of breaths here. Doing really well. So now you've seen all the stretches that are to come. That takes away any anxiety. Let's see if we can work a little deeper on the second side and enjoy these stretches. So from here, we're going to bring the back knee down. And again, you might want to retrieve your cushion, your towel, and just pad the right knee if that's an area of sensitivity for you. And from here, we'll start to move back and forth. So moving, pressing forward. Maybe you need to adjust your position, your proximity to your chair. So make sure it's working for you. Pushing the hip forward, pressing it back. Good. Couple more, and then we're going to stay forward and take that lovely side reach on our second side. Breathing as you go, so key to making the stretches successful and deep into the musculature cleansing out the muscles. So press forward this time, finding that deep, long, radiating stretch. Make sure the ribs are still gently drawing together. Sweep the left, sorry, right arm to the side and take a gorgeous arc up and across. And this is where, again, you feel that emanating stretch right from the little finger all the way down to the little toe, maybe. Good, you can let the gaze drop over to the right or the left, wherever your neck feels good. Good, breathing in. Breathing out, maybe push the hip one inch further. See what you can do. And then from there, we're going to place both hands onto the back of the chair for support. Start to extend your front leg. Now, it may not fully extend today, that's fine. If you are able to, you're gonna see if you can flex the toes back towards you. And I always think of literally sticking my bum out. So rather than curving, just like we did with our figure four stretch, you're trying to elongate the lower back and imagine yourself like a little flat pack. Good. If you are able to, and you did so on the first side, match it on your second by coming down to the fingertips. I like a little spider finger. And then those spiders head on forward, and we see if we can melt the nose towards the shin. If that is but a distant dream, do not worry. You are in the right place. If your hands are still here, and you're breathing, and you're getting that deep hamstring stretch, then that's what I want you to achieve today. Every time we return to the mat and stretch some more, increasing your flexibility. 
good. Okay, so from there, place the front foot flat, back toes hook under, and we're stepping straight into our calf stretch. So left knee is bent, right heel is pressing, and you've got those shoulders melting down the back. Remember the face is easy. You could even give me a smile. Yeah, cause we're nearly there. So make sure the back foot is parallel. We're gonna take a micro bend through that back knee and then exhale, push the heel down and towards the floor. So you should be feeling a lovely stretch for the calf. Make sure you're soft through the front knee and square through the hips and shoulders. Easy breath, exhale, two more. Good. Last one. Push on down. And then step that back foot towards the front. So we're coming to our front of thigh stretch. Keep a softness in your left knee, grab a hold of your right foot, and then maybe you can catch the right ankle. The knees come together, and then we tuck the pelvis and lift the torso. So I'll show you in parallel. I'm then slightly pushing the knee behind me, but it is ever so slight. If you're here, you will not be getting a stretch. So you want to find that deep tuck, the connection almost of the knees, and then a sense of lift through the front body. Maybe you're able to bend that back elbow so you get a little stretch through the shoulder girdle as well. Added extra. We love those here at Silver Linings. Good, breathing into that stretch, so important. Your quadriceps are a huge, or in fact, your largest group of muscles. One of your biggest calorie burners as well. We work them a lot in our bar series and lots of our hip series, so give it a good stretch today. Good, and then give it a little shake. Let's come and sit down. So just like we did on the other side, bringing now the right foot across, catch the right toes with your left hand, and just circle out the ankle. Again, take a moment just to check that you're sitting beautifully. We aim for that lifted posture, that sense of length through the whole spine. Good. And these are things you could do at your desk. So any of the sort of cat-cow or seated stretches, rotations, all fantastic for your spine and indeed for your increasing your focus, your productivity during the day. Good, so sitting tall now, making sure that you've got a lifted spine. If your knees are sensitive, use the back of the chair, otherwise I'm gonna press down on the right knee, left hand on the foot, and then start to pitch the spine forward, but it's not a curve, it's a long spine, sense of rooting through the sit bones and lengthening through the crown of the head. Maybe you're able to push a little bit deeper. You should be getting a lovely stretch through your right glute. So that's kind of your focus point. If you think of breathing in and then as you exhale, letting that release just a touch more, that's how we can get deeper in the stretches. And it's a matter of millimeters, not centimeters. <laughs> Good. Lovely. When you're ready, coming all the way up, final little set of twists. We're gonna to twist towards the bent knee, so left hand will come over right knee, right arm will hook behind your chair, lift your spine, then curl the gaze around. As you twist through the spine, you're getting that lovely rotation, but you're also getting a lovely ringing out of your intestines and everything internal, so it's actually gonna improve your digestion. Let's take the counter stretch as before. It won't feel as extreme, but it will feel like a nice unwinding of the spine. When you're ready, give that foot a little wiggle. Placing the hands back where they started. Roll the shoulders up to your ears. <sighs> Shrug them down, do that two more times. <sighs> Last time. <sighs> and my invitation to you is to maybe close the eyes and continue here with the breath, but if you need to wrap things up as I do now, then know that I'm incredibly grateful to have had you join me for the session. It's been wonderful to lead you through this. I hope you feel taller, a little more open through the body, and as I say, we look forward to welcoming you back on the mat here at Silver Linings very soon indeed. Have a wonderful day.